days, many people in places answered the governor's call for more personal protective equipment. And as the state braces for the peak of infections, a family is trying to help those on the front lines as well as patients. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Shantae Passmore joins us from an urgent care in Wethersfield. Shantae. Aaron, we know right now the shortage in PPE could play a pivotal role in this pandemic. So a family decided to make these homemade masks. And since Sunday, they've cranked out about 700. In a quiet neighborhood, Claudia Cruz passes the time while at home, like everyone. This is for Portland Care and Rehab. She's been busy. I've had a lot of requests for the homemade masks, even though they're not perfect. Um, there are three layers of a little bit of protection. A little bit of protection. You have touched me, touched me with your light. Now also doubles as a safe haven for the cruises in their spare bedroom. Donated fabric, elastic, and ribbons are strewn everywhere. Sewing about 100 masks a day. They're looking for that silver lining. It's exactly what we're doing. But this grandmother of 11 can't do this alone. She's enlisted the help of her grandchildren. Practicing social distancing, the grandkids work at their home. And whenever their togetherness gets too much, Avery says they remember their mission. We just talk to together and we're like, you got to stop. And so then we just figure it out and then we work together. Working together also means supporting those on the front line of this pandemic, whether staying apart or making these masks. We know area hospitals are looking for N95 masks. However, at Hartford Hospital, Middlesex Hospital, Day Kimball, and Yale New Haven, they're also accepting homemade masks, but you do need to follow strict guidelines. One of them being you cannot be sick. To find out how you can learn more about helping in that effort, just head to the Channel 3 app. In Weathersfield tonight, Shantae Passmore, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Shantae.